This is a tutorial about the sample editor in Gaia, a free looper for Mac, Windows, and Linux. Let's start by opening Gaia. Let's load up a sample, but this time a longer sample, like a song. Now let's turn up the sample's volume. Any play mode will work with the sample editor, so let's start. Click on the sample and select Edit Sample. This window will pop up. Let's talk about the knobs and GUI at the bottom of the window. The volume knob will control the volume, just like the knob in the main window. The boost knob will give the sample a boost in volume, just in case you needed the sample louder. The pitch knob will change the pitch of the sample. If you turn it up it will get higher, and turn it down it will get lower. The pan will change which side of your speakers that the sample plays out of. The reload button will reload the sample and redo all edits. The start and end text field will allow you to change when the sample starts and stops. The easiest way to select the start and stop is by highlighting the waveform above by left click and dragging, then right clicking on the highlighted area. But there are multiple things you can select, cut, trim, silence, or start slash end here. Start slash end here will make the sample only play the highlighted area. This is useful for trimming a sample. Cut will delete the highlighted area and then combine the parts that were after the selected region and before the selected region. This is used for modifying samples. Silence will just make the highlighted area silent. This is used to silence out parts of samples that are not needed. Trim will cut the sample so everything that is not highlighted will be deleted, so only the highlighted region will play. This is useful for trimming a sample. Let's demonstrate one of these features. Highlight your sample and right click and select start slash end here. Now let's play the sample. That is a very simple way to use the sample editor in Gaia. Read up on the docs on www.giadamusic.com slash documentation to gain more information on this topic. Thank you.